My name is Pim Kuipers. I'm a professor of clinical psychology at the VU University in Amsterdam, and I will be the teacher on this course on meta-analysis. Uh, I've been involved personally in about 80 published meta-analysis, and uh, so that makes clear that I like this method very much, I hope. And I think uh, what, what you can do in meta-analysis is you can summarize a whole field of research and statistically integrate it into one overall estimate of an effect size. And that is what I think is a fascinating idea, that it is possible to uh, summarize, for example, the effects of a treatment into one overall estimate of how good that treatment is. That's not only important for patients and clinicians, but also for policymakers and for researchers like, like us. So and the idea that you can do that, uh, that, that integration of that whole field of research, that's what makes me, uh, that's what makes me so enthusiastic about meta-analysis. And that's what I want to teach you in this course. What I will do in this course is I will ac explain the basic principles of meta-analysis. How do you do them? What steps should you take? Uh, but I will focus in the examples I will give on psychological treatments. So if you want to learn meta-analysis and you want to you want to learn that according to uh, uh, psychological treatments or you want to focus on psychological treatments uh, yourself, then this is the course uh, which can help you in the most optimal way. In order to do this course, you need some basic knowledge on randomized trials. How are they designed? How, what kind of analysis you do? Why is randomization important, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. And you need some basic knowledge on statistics in general. Nothing else is needed to do uh, this course successfully. If you decide to do, to do this course, then it will take you about three days of work. Four hours of online teaching by me in lectures like this. Uh, you will take, it will take about two days of reading uh, the, the materials you will learn in this course and about four hours on exercises and doing the exam. The steps you will learn in this meta-analysis are uh, the, uh, the, the following. First, I will explain what meta-analysis are and why they are important. Then I will show you how you can define a good research question for a meta-analysis using the PICO acronym. I will then show you how you can identify the right bibliographical databases to search and how you can search in those databases and how you can select the relevant studies out of those databases. And I will show you how you can, if you have included studies, which data you should include in your meta-analysis and which data you need for the calculation of effect sizes. Then I will show you how you can calculate those effect sizes and how you can pool them uh, over across all studies you have included. Then I will show you what heterogeneity is. Are these studies you have included in your meta-analysis really one set of studies that have comparable outcomes uh, which can be pooled in a meta-analysis? And I will show you what heterogeneity is and how you can examine possible sources of heterogeneity. Finally, I will show you how you can report about a meta-analysis and how you can write a paper about the meta-analysis you've done. So good luck with the course.